Hey, everyone! The chorus of corgis, the chorus of corgis. Right, Benji? You're the only one that doesn't bark. Hi, everyone! It's Rita and her chorus of corgis here for today's Cricket Chat. It's a brand new week, and I am extending based on feedback I got on Friday we're extending um, the week to include a few of these wonderful 3D um, projects that we have been presented with in design space so we'll have um, a few days of that um, it was really fun to do all those 3D projects last week and um I just, I wanted to remind you that there is one 3D project that I promised that we were going to do in August, and that is a Dreaming Tree project that's the Sandcastle, um, and I'm going to post that link soon. Um, the rest of the week is going to be, today we're doing Spider Moms or Chrysanthemums. Um, we're also going to be doing a diamond, a beautiful paper diamond. I've got some metallic pearlescent paper coming in so we can gild our lilies um, and then we also I thought I would sneak in um, this palm frond and um, the poppy somewhere in there so we are going to go through all of these 3D projects and again if 3D is not for you it's still good if you could uh, stick around so that you can um you can see how these are done in case you want to do them someday or just for the camaraderie of our group. So um, welcome, everyone. I'm sorry I did not post the uh, event. <laughs> Hold on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right, you. Stop. Okay, guys, sorry. I, um, I, got, I got disconnected on my end. I think it's my problem. Teddy bear, come over here. Um, can, you, can other people hear me? Oh, no, we're having internet problems. So, um, yeah, we had some video interruption. Um, I think the problem is on my end. So um, I have had a problem with my internet this past week. So it could be here. So... Let's just move right along. We're going to do today this chrysanthemum right here. It's otherwise known as a spider mom. And here is one that's complete. Now, I want to talk about this file because um, this and a lot of the other 3D files are huge. Like, I think you're supposed to only make one at a time. So, um, uh, you know, make a big one. So let's click on this and you can see... Um, what what this works as sorry <laughs> okay i keep cutting out and i'm sorry about that guys so okay so this is a purple one which i have replicated but i actually made it a lot smaller so when you go to you can customize these pieces so i open them up um in my canvas okay so here's my canvas look at how big this is um it's one two three three different color paper plus the green and if you ungroup it and do my little sort of stack method which is like stack everything together like this all right and then we just uh, we align it to the center, and here is the actual size of the cutout. It's 11 and a half inches. That's one sheet of 12 by 12 inch paper. So if you were going to cut it at this size, um, you would be using one, two, maybe three, four, five. F at least five sheets of cardstock. Now I know these colors because chrysanthemums are a fall color. So they come in like 
a white, they come in, well, it's really more of a cream, right? They come in like a cream, they come in yellow, orange, uh, sort of a burgundy color. This is just really big um, to have that much cardstock and that sort of breadth of cardstock. So what I decided to do was to make it smaller. So I made it uh, I, I basically, I aligned it. Let's see. We aligned it again to center. And then here it is 11 um, and a half. I'll keep that, but I will duplicate it. So this one here, this group here, we'll just keep that as, you know, the original. And then this group here, we will make it smaller. So instead of it being uh, 11 and a half inches wide, like maybe about nine, this is gonna be nine inches for if you wanted to do individual blooms. But I started thinking about this, we're gonna do some uh, smaller ones, even smaller than than this. And all you have to do again is just duplicate your grouping and change the width. That's all I'm doing. So I did do this um, and uh, I thought that we would put these together. Now, when you're cutting these out, um, let's show you, first of all, let's show you how how much paper you'd use for this smaller version. So this smaller version is still going to produce a really beautiful bloom. And you still are going to have those three different colors. See that? All the, so it's a darker, a medium, and a lighter. And the, it's going to go progressively. I did that with this. The colors were so similar that it's almost hard to see this. So um, that is how I did this. And I did use um, some floral tape and a hot glue to put this all together. And um, I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. But let's talk about cutting this. These are um, very intricately cut these particularly these here because they're long and thin you see I would uh, cut these on intricate cut setting which I'll show you so we put it on the mat and you see here there are the three colors now if you decided oh, okay I don't have three different shades of purple and I want maybe I only have two let's do this take one of the shades maybe you want to take the middle shade and move these parts so we're going to just go to the triple dots up here and we're going to choose move object and then we can put it onto the larger one so now and you see that the color changes so if for instance you only have two color uh variations for your chrysanthemum leave the middle middle pieces which are these to be the lighter of the two and then the darker be the outside pieces no one's gonna know no one's gonna know but so when you are ready to um to go ahead and cut this choose um the intricate cut setting and uh you should be good to go yeah so my internet is not so great. So today my internet's not so great. So um, so I'm just going to go straight to putting these together. So that way I don't lose people and everything w by trying to do stuff in um, in the design space. Okay, so these chrysanthemums are straight cut. And um, you could do these on the Joy. You can do them on the Explorer or the Maker as well. Okay, sorry everyone, I got disconnected. I'm. I apologize. I think the problem is on my end, and I don't know. Maybe it's a lot of people using the system. I have Comcast, and I've been having trouble. And it's possible that someone's trying to dox me a little bit as well. So um, so we'll just keep soldiering on, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to cut these out. If you have a joy, you can cut this out. It's a straight cut, but you need to make the largest piece less than four and a quarter inches, okay? Um, and uh, this, this is a very 3D 
type of a project. This one here is slightly bigger than what we're going to end up with, but you see we're going to put this back here and then a floral wire, and I'll show you how to do that part as well. But I think at this size, they are really going to look good on a wreath. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take each one of these cutouts and we're going to, being very careful, we're going to uh, start with the biggest pieces and start curling these. This is just a scraper that we're using. Um, you can use whatever you like. If you have something else you like to use, then use it. Um, all we're doing is giving some definition to the paper here. And if you wanted to, if you're the kind of person that likes to do inking or maybe you want to do the pan pastels, you can do that. Um, but we're going to do that. You see these get progressively smaller. So we just keep this. Now see how I'm doing this? I'm holding that middle and sort of going very slow and just curling these ends all in. The only time we need to get really, really curly is at the very innermost petals. Um, so here's that one. And... Um, and then this one, and I have cut out several, but we'll just focus on this one here. Oops, see what happened? I wasn't paying attention. That's okay. You didn't, you don't have to, if that happens to you, just be more careful and you can still use that, um, that layer. Okay. Okay. So once I do this, and we get to the the very innermost layer, which is this one. Just turning these. Okay. We also have the, uh, I forget what it's called, the sepal. The sepal, I think it's called the sepal, which is this. You notice it has a hole in it. We're going to be using um, the sepal hole today to put this on a floral wire, okay? So we're just going to sort of turn it a little bit like this. And then this is the last piece. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to, I think this is the last piece. This might be the last piece. We're going to do it as a really, we're going to have to shape this because we want the center to be really closed up because there is no um, stamen, okay? As you can see here, like there's no stamen. So we have to just kind of cover the inside of the flower um, using this technique. Super simple. Um, these do take a little bit of patience so that you have to, you know, be a little patient. I think cutting them all out and then maybe going to some other place, you know, your couch or something and, and doing the, uh, doing the, the shaping by hand might be a good idea. So we're just going to, this is super easy. We're going to be uh, putting glue, starting from the back and sort of staggering the leaves like this, okay? And we're putting some glue here. And see, there's my, my my missing piece. You're not even going to notice. You don't even notice. And it comes together very quickly once you have it all cut out. I think the cutting out is probably the hardest part of this whole project. And you can do this if you want. And then here's our very middle piece. We want to keep it like really closed up and... You can fluff all you like. Fluffing is a good thing. So, I mean, this is a smaller size than this. Let's just hold it up. But 
Um, I think these two sizes are pretty accurate as far as sizing go. And I think if I were going to make a wreath, I would probably do it in this smaller size. I can give you the file, even though we just worked off of a project file, of these reshaped sizes, okay? Um, yeah, I'm sorry if you guys are having problems getting, uh, getting on and everything. I think it might be my fault, but... Um, but we're just going to soldier on because that's what we do, okay? So here is the smaller, and you're going to, if you want, you're going to sort of make that innermost piece sort of really close up like this and play around with it, fluff it up, and things like that. But I think that looks pretty accurate for a flower and would be a great piece for, um, for a wreath. But I'm going to also show you how to... Um, I put it on a stem. Now, I am not a floral person. I have not been trained. Hi again. So, um, this is about six, seven inches, I think. Seven, no more than seven inches of the largest piece, okay? So, I'm going to take a piece of floral wire and I make a little sort of like a, a little stem or an end to it like this. I poke it through my uh, sepal, just like this. And then I'm going to get my glue gun and make sure that it is attached to that. You may have to turn it over like this, just fine. And then we're going to put it onto our flower, just like this. Now I realize this is thin, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to make it thicker. This is just plain floral wire. I think it's like four, 16 gauge floral wire. They do also sell this, which is called stem wire. It's much thicker. And I'm in fact, I'm going to um, get it about half here and use my uh, pliers. It might take a little bit. But I'm going to use my pliers because I'm going to just make these into two stems, okay? So once I have my flower onto my floral wire, then I'm going to uh, do the same, kind of do the same thing for the, for the base of the outside of the flower. So I'm trying to, it's a little harder to work with, but I'm trying to make sort of a base that can be glued Here we go. Base that can be glued. Okay, sort of like this, see? And we are gonna put a little more of this glue on here. Just kind of hold it in place. And while we're doing that, we can take the floral wire and sort of twirl it around the stem wire. All right, so we're, we're holding it sort of upside down to sort of secure the base. And then we're just twirling that stem wire around this. You can do it like this or like this. Yeah, I know there are a lot of interruptions, Dorothy, and I apologize. It's my internet. Um, I think somebody's playing around with me, and uh, which is, um, it's really disheartening. But what are you going to do? You know, there are some merely mean, nasty people in the world. Um, and they get jealous of people if they don't get the attention. So that's the way that it goes. All right. So here we have our, um, our stem wire wrapped with the floral wire. It's pretty sturdy, but to make it even more sturdy and to give it a better look, we're going to use this. This is called floral floral tape. And when you pull this tape out, stretch this tape, it gets sticky. Like um, it's got a wax on there. And so you have to pull this out a little bit 
to get it to work and sort of activate it. And then we're going to, starting at the top, make sure you're activating that. If you're having trouble with this, don't despair. It's This is the hard part, I think. I think this is the hard part. So it takes a lot of um, practice to get this going. And I have also been known to sort of glue <laughs> glue my floral tape in position just to get it started, which is good, okay? Yeah, so um, my mother, I know you guys have been following my stuff with my mother. So my mom has moved in to her brand new digs. It's an assisted living place called Colonial Gardens in Beverly. And uh, she spent her first night there last night. Uh, she just loves it. She's so excited now. I knew that was going to happen. She had a lot of anxiety about it um, while she was here, which it you know, it was a difficult thing. You just kind of had to nod and, and smile and just let her talk. But, um, so she's pretty happy over there. And, uh, I, I don't know where they have activities this, this week, but I saw the menu and I was like, oh man, if I had somebody cooking this much wonderful food, she said to me, and this is accurate. She said, uh, Rita, I don't, remember the last time I actually sat down for three meals a day and that was sad to me that was sad to me so um three meals a day is going to be good she really doesn't eat well so um this is a good thing for her so that is um that is the stem now there are these leaves as well here which you can put onto floral wire. I would probably take the floral wire and cut it in half. And um, I think what I'd like to do on this is uh, glue them on here. If you have a lean tack, but um, if not, you can use the uh, hot glue and then just put this on here like this you see and didn't stay aileen's tacky glue works great for this so um i would try that if you want to do the leaves okay so there we are try to hold it down so then we have end up with leaves We'll have two of them for each flower if you want to do the leaves, okay? Which for me, I probably, I'm going to make this into a wreath, I think, this, which is why I brought up my mom because I was thinking, first I was thinking I would make her um, a sunflower wreath, but I did sunflower wreaths last year, so I'm thinking a chrysanthemum wreath would be real nice, and I love this style of chrysanthemum, um, the spider and it's called spider because of all the little tendrils. So mom's dog is still here for those that are following this. Mom's dog is here. She was afraid to bring the dog because the dog is not been um, well. He's really on the last leg of his journey and um, I uh, I have him here. He ate this morning. He's he's very, you know, quiet, but he um he he does go to the bathroom in the house and um he's been doing it for a while. So she said goodbye to her dog yesterday and I'm going to take him today if I can get an appointment. I'm going to take him over to the animal hospital and have him euthanized. Um, and then they do a real nice thing with euthanization here. I, I suppose they do it everywhere, but we have a lovely, uh, crematorium in the south of the, uh, or in the south of the, the state. And, um, they like do a paw print and they, they, 
put the cremains in a beautiful like box and then they put it like a name tag on it. It's very pretty and very nice. And I actually have quite a few of those boxes. And it's sort of, you know, some people might say, well, she might want to do this. But she kept saying to me that um, when she was a kid, when it was time for the dogs to be taken or being euthanized, there was a truck that came. Now, I don't know how accurate this is, and maybe somebody older can verify this, but there was a truck that would come and pick up the dog and um, take them and be euthanized. But then you'd never know where you know it is this this way here you get the cremains and like a lot of they they clip a little bit of the hair and it's a tough thing I don't know it's not easy um I always get <laughs> I always get uh, nominated for the not easy things but I you know this is the hardest part of of dog ownership and um so there is that so here we go let's go up here so you can see um, so here I put these leaves on here, maybe could have put them a little staggered, but there is the chrysanthemum. There is no middle part to this. Okay. So this is the medium size. This is the small size. And whether you want to put them on the stem or not is your decision. I think this small size is perfect for a wreath and this larger size would be perfect for like a bouquet in a vase. The extra, extra large size, the one that it comes as, I think it would be good on its own, like a singular piece that you maybe hang up, um, put on a wall or something, or make part of a giant floral arrangement, uh, like a wall arrangement. Um, so, so that will be, um, that will be that. So um, the 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 ups um, and I'm jumping back and forth just simply because it's such a crazy day today. But um, the upside with my mom is she's at a place she's no longer alone and isolated. She's going to have all kinds of friends. I know it because she's super friendly um, and she loves to do puzzles and activities. So she, they do activities there. Um, she's now close to me again. And so, um, so I can visit her and things will be, you know, things will be better for her. I don't know, you know, she does have dementia, she calls it short term memory loss, but it's dementia and um and she does have her broken wrist, but we've got my sisters and I have got that all taken care of, so she ha is in very, very good hands. I have to give kudos to my sisters; they're just fabulous people, especially my older sister really got her all set up, and we bought her a beautiful chair and everything um that has massage and what have you. So that's that's the whole story with my mom. Um, and she, I'm sure you'll be seeing more of her because I'll go by. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to be making 3D diamonds that are also from Design Space. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm doing sort of a slower way of getting uh, these these. Uh, 3D projects out because I do realize that, you know, it's it's something you have to work with and you have to, you know, if you want to make more and I don't want to overwhelm you. But this week for the rest of the week, we're going to try that fox and we're going to make a 3D diamond and we're going to do the poppy and the palm and the hibiscus. And then we'll finish the week with the sand castle. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to do that Friday or Saturday. And it's a whole new month. So that means means another month of prizes so be on the lookout for prizes coming up um, and I think that that's going to do it for me today I really apologize for the in and out I'm going to get on the phone with Comcast today and try to figure out what the deal is but um, yeah we've just been having some strange things happen so Don's saying, can PDF, yeah, you can't upload PDF. Um, you can uh, you can change P 
pe you'd have to probably do it in two steps, Dawn. Um, there's something called a PDF creator that is like an app that you can download either an Android or, or the app store. And um, you can convert things to PDF and from PDF. So if you need, say, oh, the whale tail. Yeah, I'm going to do the whale tail. I forgot about that. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Um, but yes, you can convert. It takes a few steps. If you can get like a JPEG version of your of your project, it's probably better to do the JPEG version, okay? I know. I hope I do find out too. Um, and we will see you ag again tomorrow. Have a great day. Get some crafting in. I'll be on the groups in uh, Facebook. So um, so if you have any questions like the one that uh, that Don just asked, I would, I would, um, I can be answering that and also on my YouTube channel. Thanks everybody for coming and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.